Okay. Again, the topic is still cuties. Um, this is probably video number two. Video number two. I've already made another one. Watch it. Watch it even if you don't make it past the first 30 seconds of this. Go watch the actual video I made and then go watch the actual movie. Watch it. I'm going to be talking about in the quickest way possible because I already said a little bit there. I'm just going to touch on what I missed here. That movie has some scenes in it and I'm talking from the very first scene. You realize that little girl got introduced into a world she ain't never seen before in her life. She obviously just moved somewhere it looked like and then they got settled in. And then you realize, let me let me go off her, her in general. Let me continue. You realize it's her mother, grandmother, like there is some, they are somewhere they, you know, just moved to. They, she has a little brother and a baby. And you realize very quickly, the mother's not really around per se. And something's, something's going on. They are asking about when their father's coming to join them. The father is like, oh, he's coming. Hold on, turns out he's remarrying to another person. Not remarrying, I'm sorry, he has now a second wife. You are no longer his first, you're his only family. You're his first family. Your mother and you all, he was not even eager to come get y'all. He was too busy having a whole nother relationship while he was supposed to be dedicated and supportive to your, to your mother. She's not okay with this. She sees that her mother is not okay and learns why. It's very hip to why. She's taking care of like brother, little sibling. I don't know if that was a boy or a girl. They're obviously washing up in a sink. They are rationing out cereal. Bro, I'm sorry. She's 11, rationing out cereal. Struggling to come up with change and stuff to go to the grocery store. She's also, again, introduced to that world she never seen before. Is now trying to belong somewhere. Where do I fit in? She is struggling with that. Then she's struggling with, well, how do I help my family? Because the family, and by the family, there's a grandmother. And the grandmother is like, you are going to help your mom prepare for the wedding. No one's asking for no one cares that your mother is upset. You can see it's physically affecting her. Like, she's dealing with that. You can see it from her perspective as an 11-year-old girl. She's witnessing the grandmother. You're going to be a woman. This is a womanhood. But the girl... Is, is now in the friend group. I'm going to go back to that. Wanting to know where she fits in. Because they're bullying her. She still wants to be in the group. They're teasing her. She still wants to belong. And I'm not, let me be clear. I'm not even sure she just wanted to belong to the group. Or to the young girl lady that she met in the beginning of the movie. I'm going to get on to that. Where again. Where I think this movie touched on. Sexuality in a different way. From an 11 year old's perspective who's not going to understand that you may be interested in not guys. Let me get to that in a second. Because I really want to make this quick, short, and to the point. Because again, I have probably going to make multiple videos on this. Because I I just don't. You, people should see the movie. You realize one. These girls are trying to be way older than what they are. Way older than they have to be. But they think that this is what they're supposed to do to win a competition. They are entering into a competition that legit has anyone who can join. There's no age limit. And you can click the, 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 the I'm giving away the movie. If you don't plan to watch the movie, I guess yes, watch me. But go look at it for yourself. They're watching girls that are way older than them. That we as a society deem it's okay for them to be wearing the booty shorts and twerking in the videos. The main character is now looking at hip hop twerking videos to even, you know, think that's going to give her an edge on what she can add to the group. They're 11. 
there's a moment in this dang show where some boys are talking to them because remember they look grown they look like they about 17 because that's how the 17 year olds are dressing let me be clear let me write that into you they hit on them and immediately our character says they're 11 the girls instantly look at her like no 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 she's joking she's joking no 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 you're 11 that's stuck into her head now that they don't think they're 11 they're not acting like they're 11 and there's moments in this movie where you realize they're 11 watch the movie there's moments where there's friendship in there and then there's complete backstabbing there's moments where that stuff gets erased and eliminated like it didn't happen watch the movie because it's this it's certain scenes in, in the next clip i plan to talk about particular particular scenes in this movie but to go back to our protagonist she uses this dance competition as a way to fit in she uses the dance competition as a way to work out what's going on in her life she's using this dance competition as a way to figure out who she is she's using this dance competition and in the girls themselves she don't have nothing in common with these girls. she don't know what she's into but what they she saw them into she got into what she saw and now let me be clear again watch the movie throughout this movie she she does steal a phone and she immediately goes to a social media site where likes is something you can see that she's paying attention to it's whoever directed this this was nice that you put it in there it wasn't glossed over it wasn't like oh they're looking at their phones no you can see that she cares what she's posting there's another moment where she in this frazzled state of mind is being cleansed i am not i'm not sure about what religion this is or what tradition this is i'm gonna say being cleansed if i'm being closely said does somebody please tell me what if you if you watch the movie you know what's actually happening somebody tell me what what was being done because there's them girls deserve awards it is a scene in there and she's re- i thought the girl was having a whole thought she was really being exorcist they was gonna really pull out a demon she i don't know if she released what energy was coming out of her which i don't i don't know it was very awkward to watch I'm going to be honest and say it's very awkward to watch. But I, if something else going in there that I was like, something was in there that I'm, it was, it was missing it because I'm just, it's very uncomfortable to watch. And, but you're still kind of sitting there like, that's nothing wrong with this girl. There's another scene where a priest comes in and tells the mother, there's nothing wrong with your daughter. There's no demons. There's no devils. You need to get, she, she's, he tells her all point blank, you need to get your family in order. It's okay not to be in this marriage if you're uncomfortable and you don't like it. And tells her into the mother in the face. He didn't go outside the room. He didn't sugarcoat it. He said there's nothing wrong with her in front of the mother. And I think it was somebody else there. I'm not sure if it was the grandmother. But tells them blatantly. Nothing wrong with this girl. Do you know how nice it must feel to, for someone else to validate in front of your parents? There's nothing wrong with you. Let me fast forward. The girl loses her absolute soul and self because she eventually does whatever it takes to be in this group. She's stealing from the mother. She's doing extreme measures to, I guess, not seem like a child. And I'm not going to speak about that because that was seriously inappropriate. I'm not going to speak about it. But watch the movie. Cause I don't. It's from the it's from her perspective. It's not even explained why she did it. You just kind of figure out. Oh, she lost her mind. Cause after this is done, she goes to the school, gets called out. The group kicks her out, so she loses the dance team she wanted to be in. They end up going back to the girl that that she kicked out, and she legit pushes this girl in a situation. The the girl who got came back into the group, which I'm gonna comment on. I think that young lady was vomiting in a bathroom and is dealing with bulimia anorexia but again this is not one of those movies where they explain to you and they go talk about it and they work on it it glossed over she pushes her into a situation where she just walked away and almost left that girl for who knows goes to the competition she freaks out from the wedding she gets to the competition after doing all of this stuff and leaves the competition 
goes home and realizes she wants to be 11. Go watch the movie. I'm going to come back in my next video. Go watch the movie.